Yes, it's true. That is how I used to drink beer until I came across the Brew Review channel where Andy and Sandra and their brilliant, endless knowledge of beer and all things beer taught me how to drink beer the correct way. And they also cured my cancer. I have a confession to make. That last part about them curing my cancer was completely incorrect. I've never had cancer and they definitely did not cure my cancer and they don't know how to cure cancer. So don't go to them hoping they'll, you know, whatever you need, they can't do it. Unless it has to do with beer, that, then they can definitely help you. But that is not what this video is about. This video is about really nothing at all. I'm just going to sit here and ramble incoherently about whatever comes to mind. For example, earlier today, I was reading an article about this guy, right? He is suing King's Hawaiian, the people that make sweet bread, and he's suing them because he believes that they are misleading consumers into thinking that the bread is actually made in Hawaii even though their packaging clearly states that it's made in Torrance, California. Now, I don't know what this guy's got going on in his life, but he's clearly got some issues. If he's got time to be suing Kings Hawaiian for their name, basically, I mean, they're not claiming that it's made in Hawaii, just called Kings Hawaiian, just like Kentucky Fried Chicken isn't all made in Kentucky unless your store happens to be in Kentucky and that's when it's actually made in Kentucky, but it all tastes the same. It's corporate food, right? And no matter where, I don't think people would care if King's Hawaiian was made in Bangladesh or Biafra or wherever, as long as it tastes the same, they're cool with it. I mean, at least I would hope so, but not this guy. And I'm sure there's many more like him. He is not at all cool with the fact that it's called King's Hawaiian because that is where the company started in Hawaii, King's Hawaiian, and now it's made in Torrance, California, doesn't fly. This guy was sitting at his kitchen table eating, enjoying a delicious sweet bread from King's Hawaiian when out of the corner of his eye, he spotted that it's made in Torrance, California, and he flipped his kitchen table. I feel pain! Yes, you are! And my Blew his lid, stomped over to his phone, picked it up, dialed his attorney and said, you know what? We are taking King's Hawaiian to town because I have been deceived for the last time. He was angry. And now he... I apologize about that. That's my dog making noises because her toy fell and she can't be bothered to jump down and get it for herself. She's just like, hey, dickhead, why don't you get my toy for me and stop doing your stupid video that nobody's going to watch anyways. That's exactly what she's thinking. And that's fine because she's adorable. I might take that back because as you can see, she's currently humping her toy dog. Uh, so I apologize about that. Uh, I don't need, don't know if I need to put a disclaimer, but that's, that's what's going on right here next to me. And, uh, I believe she dropped her toy. Oh, she didn't drop it again, but anyways, she probably will in a moment. So King's Hawaiian guy flipped his lid because King's Hawaiian isn't actually made in Hawaii. Now, I don't know what he's going to seek some kind of monetary damages or uh, force them to change their name like Kings California. That just doesn't sound right. Kings California, Kings Hawaiian. I don't know. That guy obviously has a lack of things to do in life. And so he's going after Kings Hawaiian. In other news, Daddy Donald is still trying to overturn the election results. <laughs> Which, I, I have to say, I admire that. For, for somebody that it takes a, a mission on that is so fruitless and frivolous, that's definitely, absolutely, more than likely not going to go anywhere, he's not giving up. And to me, that is very admirable.
So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! It's like if the Titanic was sinking, which it did, and there was only 15 feet of it above water still, but the captain is still there with a bucket trying to wade water out and still saying, we can still save it, man, and we can do it. And everybody's looking at him like he's crazy, but he's still trying to get water out, and he's just really just throwing water all over the place in the ocean, but he's still convinced that they could save the Titanic, even though 95% of it is in the water already, below the surface. I mean, some might say that's probably a break with reality, and others might look at that and say, wow, that's a man that doesn't give up easily at all, and I admire him for it. Me personally, I don't care one way or the other, as I've stated many times in my videos, whether it's Joe Biden, whether it's Donald Trump, the only difference it's really going to make is what set of people are butthurt at any given time. She dropped her toy again. This hand sanitizer is absolutely amazing because it smells like pineapples. I mean, not an actual pineapple because those don't really have a strong scent, but there's like, oh, like that fake pineapple scent. Mm -mm. Comes in all different kinds of scents too. Cookies and cream. Who wants their hands to smell like cookies and cream? I bet you that guy that's suing King's Hawaiian, he probably wants his hands to smell like cookies and cream. I just noticed that it's been quiet for quite a long time. My dog is no longer next to me. And so it probably means that she's doing something that she shouldn't be. Let's go check it out. Ooh, what are you doing? Hey! <laughs> That's a bad dog. Bad dog. Oh yeah. You're eating toilet paper? Are you crazy? Come on, get out of here. Hey, hey. Go, 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 go. I knew it. When it's that quiet, she's like a kid. If it's too quiet, trouble is afoot. I only have a few more days before I have to get back on the road and that's kind of depressing. But this is not going to be a depressing video. We're not going to talk about anything depressing. One thing that's definitely not depressing is my sponsor, fcustom.com. They make all different kinds of custom jerseys, whether it's a football jersey, baseball jersey, basketball jersey, all different kinds of color schemes and fully customizable. And they were nice enough to send me this jersey. Check that out. It's got my channel name on there, Van Dam. Obviously, it's Roscoe Van Dam, but just got the last name Van Dam, the number 10. And these numbers are actually sewn on super nice, not just ironed on or whatever it's called. And it's fully customizable. You can have whatever you want written on back there. You can have whatever number you want. You could have numbers on the shoulders, which I got. And on the front, we have... RVD Express, which is a username I use in a lot of places, as well as number 10 again, obviously. And RVD Express also happens to be my discount code. So if you place an order at fcustom.com, use the discount code RVD Express, and you will get 10% off as it shows right there on the jersey. And they're really fantastic. They have all different kinds of jerseys, fully customizable. You don't have to have any numbers. You could have numbers wherever you want. It's, it's You could have it on shoulders, front, back, whatever. Any name you want, any name you want on the front or no name at all. They are fully customizable and fantastic. So check them out at fcustom.com and use the discount code RVD Express. And the link for fcustom.com will be down in the description. You know, my nails are really long. I don't know why I'm telling you that. They just, they just are. I gotta cut them. Last night, my fiance is like, why don't we do your nails? Your girly nails? She said that to me. Why don't we do 
your girly nails. And I thought that that might be like a, uh, a sexism. I, th I think she did a sexism. And so obviously automatic cancel. Uh, I don't know. She's not like on TV or anything like that. So I don't exactly know how to cancel her. Like, do I just break up with her because she did a sexism? Because that's not very like, you know, whatever it's called. I, I don't know. But definitely canceled. Do you guys ever watch those ghost hunting shows? Like, I personally don't believe in ghosts. I don't think they're real. But I still like watching those shows, especially when they go out and getting EVPs where they take an audio recorder and they put it in an empty room and they just hit record and they ask all sorts of questions and then they get a voice back on there that could be who knows what. I don't think it's a ghost, but I can't explain it. I mean, it's something, right? What if... I caught an EVP without even intending to do it. Like I'm sitting here recording my video, right? And then I go back to listen to it when I edit the video and I hear a disembodied voice on there along with mine. It's not my voice. I'm talking, I'm talking, saying whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, I got a coffee mug. And then along with that, there's a voice that says, I'm going to eat your soul. I, I would cry and shit a brick not exactly in that order I, I might shit a brick and then cry not sure don't know still waiting to get a ps5 out of stock everywhere however for reasons unknown google sent me a stadia for no price at all no cost at all for free that's multiple ways of saying it but yes they sent me one for free which is nice and i posted that to my community tab right here on YouTube, and people had a visceral emotional reaction telling me that Google Stadia sucks. Now, they might be right, but there was no explanation of why it sucks. You say, it sucks, which is kind of like the brain-dead way of saying anything. Oh, that sucks. You know, people say a lot of them. People say Xbox sucks. People say PS5 sucks. People say Windows sucks. People say... Android sucks. People say iPhone sucks. People say Mac sucks. People say Canon sucks. People say Nikon sucks. People say Fujifilm sucks. Saying something sucks just makes you look like an idiot. Uh, there's a thing called constructive criticism, like where you could say, this thing is not good, and here are the reasons why. Now, you have to also consider that those reasons might only apply to you, which makes it subjective, not objective. For example, if I said Google Stadia sucks, I'd say it probably sucks because, well, there's no physical console, right? It's all streaming, it's all digital. So if you buy games on Google Stadia and Google one day decides to nix Stadia, they decide that they're not going to do it anymore, which Google is very famous for. They go all in with a project and in no time they completely abandon it and they don't look back. And if that happens with Stadia for anybody that's bought a bunch of games on Stadia, well, you're probably SOL and JWF. Shit out of luck and jolly well fucked. That is a George Carlin quote. If you don't know who George Carlin is, well, you're missing out. But that's a reason why Google Stadia sucks. However, I got it for free, so it can suck all at once. I didn't pay anything for it. I mean, sure, I signed up for their, their pro subscription for $10 a month. $10 a month is nothing. People spend more on coffee every day than $10. So $10 a month for something for me to enjoy from time to time. Plus, I got a family connect thing on Stadia, so my friend's games that he has, I can play when he's not playing. I mean, it's great. For somebody that's a casual gamer like me, something like Google Stadia is perfect. I mean, and it also sucks because the lack of games. I mean, there's so many games that you just can't get on Stadia. And yeah, maybe they will come there someday. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Older games, like you can go on the PlayStation Store, or Xbox Store and get older games and play those. It's not going to happen on Stadia. I mean, maybe it will, but it's not there right now. And there's also the looming thing is, is Google going to really commit to Stadia 
and they don't have a great track record. So see, that's constructive con criticism of why something sucks. But again, to some people, that just might not matter. So if you're going to say something sucks, have some reasoning behind it. Because if all you do is say, oh, this thing sucks, then you just look like a dumbass. Whether something sucks or not is entirely subjective for the most part. Because everything sucks to somebody. But that's just human nature. Humans love to argue about subjective matters. PS5 versus Xbox, Android versus iPhone, Mac versus Windows, Canon versus Nikon, or Canon versus Sony, or Sony versus... Nikon. They just love to argue about subjective things as if they are like factual because in their small minds and their small worlds, this is the truth. And there is no solid truth when it comes to preferences. I, for example, use a Canon camera, which I'm recording on this right now. And I'm using a Sure microphone for audio. And somebody can say, oh, Sure microphone sucks. You should have gotten a Blue Yeti because that's what I have. And they want to feel like they made the smarter decision. What people with a mentality like that don't make any smart decisions in their life whatsoever. I got a Sure because it's a name I'm familiar with. They have a long-standing history in the audio equipment marketplace. And it, I, I watched a couple of YouTube videos about audio samples of what it sounded like, how it functioned. And I thought, yep, that's for me. And I'm sure a Blue Yeti would be just as good. But people feel like, oh, I got this thing so i need to knock the competition just so they could feel better about their own purchase and it happens in every industry cell phones video games cameras you name it cars whatever look at the chevy guys and the ford guys and the dodge guys they all bicker back and forth who's got the best truck I recently got a Bluetooth speaker. It's a JBL Charge 4. And I could say, hey, check out the speaker I got. And somebody will say, oh, that's rubbish, man. Because they got a Bose and they want to feel that the Bose is better when both of them are equally just as good. So the next time you want to say something sucks, try giving it some thought about why it sucks. Can you explain objectively why it sucks? And you're not going to be able to. And if you think you've managed to, then you clearly don't know the difference between objective and subjective. I'll see you on the next one.